Saw Rip Hamilton, one of the toughest players to guard this week. A quick move by O'Neal, but he's unable to finish. Here's Rip Hamilton. Wallace swings it. Stucky. Prince out of the way. Back down move. Kick up. Wallace back to Prince on a repost. Back down move. Double comes. And Wallace from downtown. And so he's missed twice from beyond the arc. The first quarter is brought to you by Ford, powered by you. A lot of contact in the post with Wallace and O'Neal. Here's O'Neal spinning end line. Shot doesn't go. Two missed shots in a row for O'Neal and the Raptors. Last touch by Detroit. It's going to be Toronto basketball, Leo. Now, all that contact, man, all that leaning and banging that's going between O'Neal and Wallace, that used to be Wallace and Bosch. With the pressure that's being taken off right now is tremendous. Parker, kick out Moon. Here's Jose, deep three. Pops out. And that allows for a fresher Chris Bosch. Stucky, look how quick he is. Plus the foul. And the foul's going to be on Chris Bosch, and that's one of the reasons why they love him in Detroit, his ability to get to the hole, and he's fearless when he does it. That, that's a great point. He's fearless. He comes into the game, and he's not afraid to do anything. He played with the U.S. Select Team this summer against the United States gold medal team. A player that just has the utmost confidence when he's on the floor. He will not back away from any challenge. Yeah, Michael Curry said he's built like Ricky Pierce. And he gets to the basket like Grant Hill. Not a bad combo that's, right there. That's an unbelievable combination. <laughs> I'll take those guys. <laughs> There's seven remaining in the opening quarter. Parker just pops it up there. And it squirts away. It's going to be Toronto basketball. And after starting four of four, the Raptors have now missed their last four in a row. And the Pistons lead by one. Is it good to get Detroit without AI, you think, on the opening night? Quite honestly, I would have liked to see an Iverson on the opening night to see how Detroit would handle that. Plus the foul, no, yes! It's a three for Parker! A potential four-point play for Anthony Parker. He is just on fire from long range. Great look from Calderon. Parker gets it off quickly and up high. Parker goes in line of what we mean by opening night, certainly. Opening night for Allen Iverson in a Detroit Pistons uniform. And Parker makes a free throw, and so a four-point play. Yeah, and back to that point, with Stucky at the point, you're talking about status quo for this Detroit team. If you put Iverson in, they got to make the adjustment. I think that would have been a huge advantage for the Raptors. 6.30 remaining here in the... Opening quarter, Rip Hamilton trades the bucket and knocks it down. He never stops moving. Constantly coming off screens. If someone tells you you've got to guard Richard Hamilton, I hope you're in shape. In for a long night. <laughs> Reggie Miller-esque. Saved by Moon, but right to the Pistons. And the Raptors lead by one. Raptors have turned it over three times. Stucky swings it. Here's Rip Hamilton. Entry pass. Wallace. On a handoff, Rip Hamilton, that's what you were just talking about. you got to work it defensively. Yeah, you just can't relax. He's so good at reading the defense. Number one rule in the game of basketball is play against your man. He will dictate what you do. Also says a lot about Rip Hamilton because he commits a foul four-point play, and they go right back at him. What does he do? Four straight points. Gets him right back. O'Neal on the inside. Cut pass a handle. Jump ball called. Pistons lead by one, 14-13 right now. 5.43 to go. Two of the three teams left in the East that are undefeated right here at the ACC. Upcoming schedule, we talked about the Raptors going out on the road before they return home and then have Philadelphia. So it's Atlanta on TSN. First game of the year on CBC on Sunday against the Charlotte Bobcats under Larry Brown and then the Boston Celtics on the Raptors TV on a Monday night. Chris Bosch starts 3-3, three three, Leo. And does it going to the basket, getting contact, getting to the free throw line, physical play, not shying away from it, but going inside and attacking the Detroit Pistons. Again, big advantage that he doesn't have to deal with Rasheed Wallace, especially early in the game. A little freedom, a little opportunity for Bosch to let loose. And you see the quick start for Bosch tonight in a jump ball situation. Allen Iverson is in the building. However, he is not on the bench as of right now, O'Neal 
will jump with Amir Johnson. And they look around. And now they're saying out of the timeout that it should be Rodney Stuckey. And O'Neill, you see.